I'm doing this as a double take because I just checked the video I've just done and I've cut my head right off. So I feel uh, I ought to do it again. But anyway, I'll just recap. Basically, I'm, I'm on the arch top windows. Um, frustrating today because I've just finished some work and I'm back here now. My van's absolutely packed to the gunnels and uh, I've got a temporary shelter to put up outside because uh, I'm getting overspilled with all my stuff now so I'm going to put that up in the backyard here and then I can then put a lot of stuff out there but anyway getting back to them on the arch top windows um, these are ones I glued up earlier and I've already cut them out on the bandsaw and then the next process is that template there would be double sided stuck with double sided tape and uh, that then goes through the router and that's the top arches for the windows these ones here which uh, I've just took out the clamps um, these are the back part that goes on there part of the frame and then the other ones underneath there for the opening part of the sash the top arch um, on top of that I've also made a start on the the roof light as well um, basically that's one section of the roof light that's one end and there's another end the same uh, it's about 600 by 1100 long um, that's the uh, the top rail section that's got to be glued up and put in position and then the sashes will open up off of that um, so yeah quite a lot of work to do in there but uh, now I'm sort of going to be sort of quite full on getting on with this project now I've got no other real disturbances for a few months so uh, that's where we're at but anyway I'm going to leave it there and I'll speak to you all later thanks for watching well hello everybody lovely sunny day today um i don't know whether the camera's right or not but we'll try it um yeah i'm getting on with the arch top windows um yeah that was how i cut them out on the bandsaw like that then they get screwed on to this plywood template and then they go through the router and when they come out the router they come out like that all ready to be then jointed into the framework um, so yeah that's that's it really I'm not going to run the router now because it's so flipping noisy um, but that's what happens I'm just going to router another one um, just thought I'd put that in see you later yeah hello there um, this is um, my uh, I call this my pop-up workshop I've just put this up in the back yard here at the house um, so I can spread out a bit but uh, yeah we're getting on well today um, that's the um, start of the uh, roof light I've cut all the comb joints uh, off the saw joints to, to join it up today and I've machined up the top bar um, here's the arch window as I was talking about earlier I've got this one glued up um, and uh, yeah, these are the sections here. Um, I'll just sit them on this ball because that tells me it's exactly the right size. And then I've cut and I've made loose tenons for them, which uh, will glue in and then machine off afterwards. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So yeah, this is say my workshop. It's going to be quite handy. It's going to be full up here soon because I'll do so much preparation here before I take stuff up to the boat. Yeah, good morning everybody it's Wednesday morning uh, as you can see I'm here in the workshop again um, thank you to everybody else I've had a few more subscribers so yeah welcome on board and I uh, hope you enjoy what's going on anyway um, I've got the mortiser out today and basically I'm making the, the top sash windows for the roof light um, yeah, these, are the, these are the rails here which I've already cut the mortises out and they've got to have tenons cut on the ends yet. Um, and uh, I've already cut these ones out. Uh, I'll just give you a quick little demo. Um, basically, yeah, that's the, the rail. This is the mortiser. And off we go. You've got to be careful because if you dig too deep, you clog up the up the drill and it's only sticks and it all starts burning so you've got to just go 
tiny little bits at a time. Just keep chopping down. Like so. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with loads of that going on, but as you can see, that's the sort of thing you do. And then you turn it over and you chop through. I've only got this one to do, then I can get onto the tenon. So hopefully by about lunchtime today, I'll have those top sashes uh, all glued up. Um, going back to the arch top windows, the main frames are already glued up. Um, these are the, the other parts of the frame which have all been through the router now, so they can all be worked on later on. So, um, yeah, the reason I'm really having to push on is because um, I need to get the sash sizes done so that I can work out, get the glass sizes done, and then I can get the order in for the glass because. You know, we're coming up to the Christmas period and so you get factories for shutdown and that and I'd like to have the, the glass before Christmas set in the frame so that it's all ready to go in the boat when I can pick it up. But anyway, I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll speak to you all later. Thank you. Yeah, hi there everybody. Just a little update. The, the sashes I was making earlier, um, as you can see, I've got one already cramped up there in the frame now. Um, and there's this one here which I'm basically going to glue up now, which I've just dry fitted. Because you need to make sure it all fits before you start getting glue out. Um, yeah, these are what we call mortars and tenon joints. And, uh, you know, they're really good and strong. They can pack in like so. Sorry. And, um, yeah, then you glue it up and then these little wedges wedge in to wedge it up and glue it up nice and tight. So anyway, that's, I just thought I'd give you that little update there. I'll speak to you later. Good morning, everybody. Saturday morning, eight o'clock or thereabouts. Um, yeah, I'm in the workshop. Um, bomb site, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I've been quite busy this week. I've got these uh, side windows up together. I've just done the sashes now. There's one there, there's another one up there. The other one on the bench. Um, and uh, I'll just go out into the temporary workshop outside and show you the other bit. Um, yeah, here we've got the uh, the roof window which is all coming on. I've got the sashes all done and made up. I've routed them out so that uh, I've also put the order in for the glass now so that uh, when uh, another couple of weeks I'll be able to pick the glass up for them. Um, but yeah, today I'm not doing much today because I've got to go over to my daughter's because over there is um, one of my other projects which uh, I've got a lady now which is going to buy that from me because I need to send it, sell it on because it's going to the money from it's going to go towards an arrowboat. So uh, I'm just going to get over there and just make sure everything's all right for when she comes down to view it. And what I'll do is uh, I'll give you a show of what it actually is when I get there. Um, just to give you a taste of the sort of things that I get up to. And I'll speak to you later. We're over at uh, my daughter's now, and this is the uh, thing I wanted to show you. This is one of my other projects that I've been involved with for a while now. Like, you know, I built this a few years ago, had some real good enjoyment out of it, but uh, I'm letting it go now to a new owner who's going to love it and enjoy it. Um, and then the money from it's going to help go towards an narrowboat, but I'll quickly take you around it. Yeah, this is all built out of various recycled items that I found on the way. Um, we'll just have a little go round the outside here. It's all built in marine plywood. All the wheels I bought off of eBay second hand and had them stove enameled and new tyres put on. The windows were all reclaimed from um, antique leaded light windows that I remanufactured into new frames. Um, You've got an under boot storage there, which you've got a solar charging system inside. Um, and then uh, up here, up to the steps on the balcony, which this is all cast iron Victorian ironwork, which again I picked up and had stove enameled railings I got from the reclamation yard and cut back and painted, and all this little veranda all builds up and takes down and I'll just take you inside if you want to come on in and there's little Roxy she's over here inspecting um, yeah it's lovely and toasty in here it's lovely and 
toasty and he's got the fire on. Um, and yeah, this is my uh, my shepherd, well, wagon I call it. I don't like to call it a shepherd's up because I feel it's more of a combination between the shepherd's up, a gypsy wagon, showman's wagon. It's all those things that basically influenced me when I built it. I didn't have any plans, I just built build stuff. I just get an idea in my head and build it. Um, wood burn is a special one off. It's an old pizza oven door, which a friend of mine or a person I build wood burners, he made the burner around it. So we've got a little oven in the top. Um, and then you've got the uh, well, roof light, which is lovely. You can lay in bed and watch the stars at night. Um, and then you've got this, uh, the mirror here. This, uh, this just comes down and uh, makes your table. And then you pull these little widgets here, and uh, you got somewhere to sit on each side. So uh, there you go. Um, but yeah, my my wagon. Um, which yeah this is now I don't know about three years two and a half years ago I finished it but yeah I'm not going to be sad to see it go because all my things I do people have and because they're still there and people are enjoying what I've done for them um, you know it's uh, it feels like it's never really gone from me but um, yeah somebody else is going to come and they're coming in at about half an hour's time so we've lit the fire and that and made it all nice for them Anyway, that's enough about the, the wagon, you know, because basically it's all about the narrowboat now. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to wind this up now. This is going to be the end of this particular vlog. Uh, there'll be various bits and pieces put together, and uh, I'll see you all next week. But thanks for all the new people that have subscribed. Um, you know, obviously, you know, people are getting interested in it. So, yeah, thanks for joining in, and, uh, you know, update on the boat. The boat's near enough finished. Um, definitely be ready sometime before Christmas but I think the builder's going to let me keep it in his workshop and then we're going to have it delivered onto onto the the um, what do you call it the uh, the marina site where I'm going to work on it um, 1st of January or 2nd of January should I say but anyway I'll leave it there speak to you all later <laughs>